Now we are going to learn one of the most powerful workflow secrets in Logic Pro X. Once you learn this technique, you will never go back. I am talking about screen sets. Well, of course you can do this the manual way by using key commands to open up these windows, but then you will often find yourself adjusting the size and placement of these windows, which quickly adds up in time spent and breaks your workflow. And another thing, in Logic, you can actually open many windows as floating windows, which means you can adjust their size as well as position. For example, placing your mixer window in full screen on your second computer display, or perhaps a full screen piano roll for better overview when editing your MIDI parts. This makes the screen sets feature even more powerful. Imagine that you could simply press a single button and call up a complete configuration of different windows with the placement and size you have decided beforehand. Well, you can, and that is what screen sets are for. So let's dive right in and I will show you how you use this feature. So all screen sets in Logic are saved up here in the menu where you can see number one now. And you will always have at least one screen set. For now, that is the default screen set that you start with. Now, all screen sets are saved and called up using the numbers on your keyboard, not the numpad, but the actual number keys. So to create a new screen set, you simply press a number on your keyboard that is not already used. If it is used, that is the way to switch to that screen set. In this case, I can simply press the number 2 on my keyboard, and this is what happens. Logic opens up a new uh, window here, which is the sequencer, because of course you always need at least one window for a new screen set. Now you can see that the screen set is saved here, but let's say you don't want to see the sequencer, but instead want to have a full screen of the mixer. Well, then first open up the mixer in the floating window, then you can close this one. Then perhaps you want to have the transport bar as well. So open up the transport float. And then you simply uh, place them on your screen and uh, adjust their sizing like this. And as soon as you are done, you can lock this screen set here. Congratulations, you have created your first screen set in Logic. Now you can quickly switch between these two screen sets by pressing the number 1 and 2 on your keyboard. Let me show you. If I press 1 now, it called up the screen set number 1, which is only the sequencer. If I press 2, I get the full screen mixer and the transport float above. And let's say you do a lot of MIDI editing. Well, then let's create a third screen set by clicking the number 3 on the keyboard, because if I click number 2, it simply calls up that screen set. When I click number 3, it creates a new one because that was not assigned before. Now let's bring up the piano roll, uh, which we have here. Then we can close this one. And let's do the transport bar again, because I always want to have that on top so I can always uh, see where I am. Awesome! Now we have made a full-sized piano roll screen set so you can edit MIDI a lot faster by having a better overview of everything that is going on. And once you're done, remember to lock this screen set. And now we can switch between number one, which is the tracks, number two, which is the mixer view, and number three, which is the piano roll. So if I go back to one, select one of these clips and press three, I get a full-sized piano roll with the notes in the part already selected. So now I can simply hit Z to zoom in and begin the editing. Now here's an important thing to remember. If you want to make any changes to one of your screen sets, you need to first unlock the status here. Because if I, for example, add, let's say, the notepad here, and then I switch to number two and back to one, it's gone. You need to unlock first, then make the change and then lock it again. Now if I press 2 to get to the mixer and back to number 1, I have the notepad open here because I saved it into my screen set. 
Subscribe now and watch a lot more videos on composing music, producing music, sound design, Logic Pro X and much more. I'll see you in the next video, my friends.